What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Battleborn, a game that I honestly truly truly enjoy. It's a game that I'm wrestling with buying. I probably will have it. Uh, when I played the beta, my wife and I, we really really enjoyed uh, some of those campaigns. We enjoyed the multiplayer. It was a pretty fun game. It didn't run as smoothly as some of its competition. Overwatch kind of came out afterwards and it really made Battleborn look eh, pretty bad to be totally honest. And for the most part, Overwatch and Battleborn are very similar games. And so I think if anyone was to just buy one versus the other after seeing them both, I'd say probably 80 to 90% of people would pick Overwatch. And it's kind of an unfortunate thing that both games are released in the same time frame. Another aspect of, of Battleborn's kind of ills at this moment in time is two phenomenally well put together games, Uncharted 4 of course by Naughty Dog and id Software's Doom, two games that I recently beat and had a hell of a time playing, no pun intended. Those games are some of my favorite gaming experiences of the year and I spent a lot of time playing them. And of course these games come out right around the same time as Battleborn and you can only imagine what they've done to Battleborn sales. I'll drop a link in the description. There hasn't been a lot of movement in the UK sales chart this week unless you're Battleborn. <laughs> UK charts massive drop for Battleborn. Uncharted 4 and Doom remain at the top of the list. The UK charts for last week have dropped and they have a few mild surprises. On its first week's sale, Homefront the Revolution only managed third spot in the chart, failing to oust Uncharted 4 and Doom, occupying the first and second spots respectively. Things are not looking well for Battleborn either, which only launched the week of May 3rd. The Gearbox MOBA shooter dropped 12 places, landing in spot number 27. Valkyria Chronicles Remastered had a relatively good debut at number 6, and Doom dropped 35% since its previous week debut, but maintained the second spot. I can't see Doom moving past the second spot unless Overwatch, which more than likely will take that second spot. I don't know if Overwatch has the power to uh, remove Uncharted 4 at this moment in time, because Uncharted 4 came out on the 10th, a lot of people have it, 2.7 million people already bought the game, so there's a lot less fervor in the streets for people to get their hands on that. Overwatch is going to do phenomenally well. Everybody who played the beta just had nothing but good things to say about it. But the whole purpose of this video is Battleborn. What do you do, uh, Gearbox, if Battleborn is dropped 12 places and is in the 27th spot in the UK charts? It has to be doing just as bad here. I haven't heard a lot of people online or you know in the forums talking about how great the game is and and believe you me i think it's a pretty good game i don't i didn't really find any reasons to dislike the game of course it didn't run as smooth as overwatch and it you know the frame rate is nothing like doom it's just a different type of game and i do believe that gearbox wanted to create something slightly different which does appear to be a slower paced game it's definitely not 60 frames per second it looks like a 30 frame per second game it's cartoony graphic style but I did enjoy what I played. I just kind of feel bad for the developer. I feel bad for the game because they kind of launched in the middle of a perfect storm of phenomenal games that are all going to steal any bit of thunder that this game ever could have had. They should have really, they should have launched Battleborn when nothing was on the landscape. They should have launched this game last month. They should have launched it when nothing else came out. But they waited until Uncharted 4. They waited until Doom and Overwatch launched. So that's going to take any of those sales, any, if anybody wanted to play that MOBA shooter, they're going to pick Overwatch. And now that's out, pretty much anybody in that arena who wants to play that genre of game is going to pick Overwatch over Battleborn. And I just kind of feel bad about this whole project. They probably should have just stuck with the new Borderlands. That probably would have got people more excited. Battleborn, like I said, doesn't seem like a bad game. I just think they launched it and they, they kind of let it go out at the absolute wrong time. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you playing Battleborn? Is it a good game? More than likely, I'm going to buy it because I buy games and I'm probably going to play it and enjoy it. But I just feel bad because I know a lot of work, a lot of heart and soul went into this development process. For them to launch this game around the time where all this stiff competition's around and more than likely the competition that's a better overall game. I just feel it's a little unfortunate. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts below. Tell me how you feel about Battleborn. How you feel about Overwatch. Have you played Doom? Have you played Uncharted? I want to know in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. And if you're new to the channel, 
go ahead and subscribe so you can keep up with the latest news, reviews, and commentary. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.